hello welcome back to my channel this is the page that I'm doing today and it's just gonna be a page for fun um, with the background it is actually I'm basing it off of whenever we first moved into our home here when we purchased it 18 years ago um, they it had like very old wallpaper on and I wish I would have kept some of it because I would use it in junk journals and um, probably even my art journals honestly <laughs> but we ended up taking it down because my littles have yucky seasonal allergies and dust and things like that are just really really bad for them so to do what I want to do I'm actually going to be using the desert sand in the regular and then the desert sand as well in the shimmer paint um, and this page is going to be mostly muted with just a little bit of pop of color. You'll see. <laughs> to get started, I'm going to go in with the desert sand all over. And then I am going to take the um, Dilusions Leaf It Out stencil and go in with the desert sand shimmer paint. So I'm going to do those two things really, really quick and then I'll be right back. Alright, so now that I have this and I've got my little shimmer, I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to age it up just a little bit more. So I'm going to go between the desert sand, the melted chocolate, and the ground coffee, and I'm just going to add bits and pieces here. I'm going to try to do the technique where you just kind of hold your thing a bit and only let it spray a little bit. Alright, so this is what we have now. It's kind of, mm, it is what it is. <laughs> now what I have is some images that I want to stick down. First and foremost, I have this border from my border pages. And it's the one that looks like this. And I just snipped it up the side, or down the middle. And I want one on each side here. And then what I have is from the Don't Won't Can't set. I stamped out four of these. And I've already cut two of them out. Because we're going to have one go down here. And then one's going to go up here. But we might do something different with it. And then... I'll just put this one down here for a moment and this one up here and then from the monster mash I have this image and I cut him out and then I just cut along both of his little arms here and from three little maids I have this one and then from the art from the heart stamp set the Dilogens one, I have these two crowns, so I thought he could be a bald king. Love it. However, what I want to do is I cut the arms because I actually want to make them hang over the frame. 
like this. And then put the little crown on kind of sideways. I'm going to cut the bottom half off. And then she is going to get this crown. She's just going to be behind there like so. And then... I'm just going to put that on like that. So, what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to start with him because I need to cut his body in half before I color him. So I'm going to put him where I want him on my frame. Grab a pencil. And just kind of eyeball mark on the body here where it goes. Gently. And then I'm going to go down a little bit more and I'm going to cut that off. And because this border is going to be covering over the bumps here, I'm going to go with my black marble paint and I'm going to color the whole back of this really, really quick. Now I'm going to color my images up really, really quick. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make my people be the bright and then the rest of it will be done in like browns for the toned down look. <laughs>
All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the center of this one, but I'm leaving that one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my images stuck down, but I'm going to start with my borders. So for this one, because it's got the bumps on, I'm just going to take my double-sided tape and I'm going to put it on the big bumps because I know that all of them are covered quite well. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I am going to take and I'm gonna cut that inner one out there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my black Posca paint pen and I'm going to outline everything. And that is it guys that is my page for the day i have a window that i'm going to i think on this page try to put a person so it'll look like a whole um photo wall and then down here obviously i'll do a little bit of writing it's muted to a degree i did purposely want to only have my characters have color and then of course my borders because it makes them pop out a lot more that way um, but hopefully there's something in this page that can give you some kind of inspiration for your journal pages. If you like the video, please give it a like. I thank you so, so, so very much for watching. And until the next time, I hope you stay safe, stay warm, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.